Hi guys, welcome to a quick card trick. This is not a regular card trick, it's called Prime Time and it uses some very special cards. As you can tell, these cards have pictures of famous television shows over the years and you can see there's hundreds of them on both sides of the cards. What I'm going to get you to do is to mentally select any one of these uh, TV shows. Let me just get it so you can see all of the shows. I want you to glance over these cards and mentally select your favourite television show. Once you've done that, just turn the card over. Flip it over. Now, you flipped over one card, but you could have flipped over any of these because you can see they all have TV shows on the flip side as well. What I want you to do now, don't tell me what your favourite show is, just glance over here and again, turn over the card that contains your favourite show. Okay, and you, again, you could have flipped over any of these, it wouldn't have made any difference whatsoever. But you did have a free choice of all of these various TV shows. You see, what I've got on here is my favourite show as well. And if I just play it, just hold that up to the camera. And is that your chosen show? And that is called Prime Time. So the trick you've just seen is called Prime Time. It's a trick that I had on video back in 1992 and sold through a magazine called Abra. But back then I used to use pictures of football teams. I've kind of changed it to give it a new lease of life uh, using these pictures. Now I do realise that there's several tricks out there uh, that have been around for years, uh, box office, you have uh, destination unknown, a day at the zoo, all of these use the same principle. I'm not quite sure if they all work the same method as I do, but it'll be similar. And I'm sure we've all seen a similar kind of trick uh, when we were younger in our first magic set, we used to have lots of cards with numbers on and people would choose a number, look for the number and you would be able to reveal which number they thought of. It works on a similar principle. So let me just show you how it works. The cards have been printed out. Now, what I've got in the link below the video, there is a downloadable file that not only gives you the instructions for the trick here, so you've got the full instructions of how this trick works, but also the pictures as well. The cards need to be in a certain order. Now, because I've performed this many times, I actually know the order that they are. I know that card number one has Game of Thrones in the corner. The second card has X-Files. The third one, Downton Abbey. The fourth, Frasier. Batman and Grey's Anatomy. I just know that. However, I don't think the camera picked that up, but if you look closely, there's a little pencil dot here in the corner and there's two pencil dots on there because when I started performing this and I wanted to quickly set it up I couldn't remember the order so I put little pencil dots I'm sure you'll come up with your own way of remembering the order but that's how they start you basically lay the cards out in this order one two three four five six they have to go in that particular order it doesn't matter if you lay them out across, one, two, three, four, five, six, it really doesn't matter, just as long as you know that that's card one, two, three, four, five, six. You ask them to pick any of these. Let's say, for example, they pick Batman as their favorite TV show. They will turn over the Batman card. Now, when they do that, the only thing you've got to remember is that that's the card they turned over. Okay, don't worry about the number, that it's number five, one, two, three, four, five, just the fact that they turned over this. Okay, so they turn over that one. You then say you could have had any of these and you turn all the others over. And say, look for your 
chosen TV program again. Now, in this case, they chose Batman. They will look here and see that Batman is here. Now, this indicates whereabouts on the original card they turned over is the show they chose. Because he turns this over, this is card number one. That means that if I take a look at the original card, there in position one is Batman. I know that that's the show that he chose. And that's how it works. Whichever card they take, that will represent the original number on here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's how they're numbered. Hopefully that makes sense. But if you just follow along or download the instructions, let me just do one more just so you can make sure you've got it. So I just turn these all over again. So this is the starting position. Now let's say that they choose Family Guy as their favorite show. So you're gonna turn, or they turn over this card. Remember, that's the card that you're gonna look at. You then turn over the other cards. You then ask them to turn over another card that has their favorite show. Now there's Family Guy here. Now, as far as I'm concerned, He's turned over card number three. One, two, three. That's four, five, six. This is number three. When he turns that over, the trick's done. You know what it is because when you pick up the original card and have a look, in the third position, one, two, three, is Family Guy. What I tend to do is just turn the cards over, mishmash, collect them up so that the first card they turned over is at the bottom and I just glance from this angle down here I can see and I count one two three four five six there's a third one family guy I just gather these up put them away the tricks over in terms of how you reveal it what I've got on my playlist on my phone is all of the theme tunes from these I've got them uh, if you search out the internet you'll find them very easily Okay, and I just put them all on here. Alternatively, you could reveal it by writing it down or just calling it out that their favourite show, give it all your mentalism look, that it was Family Guy that they chose. So I leave that up to you, but as I said, don't forget in the instructions, gives you all the details. So if I haven't explained it too well, download the instructions and also the printable cards. Practice and enjoy.